widow sacrifice ritual indian woman's suicide sparks debate over tradition should i use that word or should i use self-deletion um use the word okay. um yeah sure you just use it okay the tragic suicide of Sangeeta Lakhra, a 28-year-old female engineer from Jugrat, India, has sparked a national debate about the outlawed and controversial Hindu tradition of sati. Uh, Sangeeta reportedly drowned herself in the Sham Shabarmati River after facing alleged domestic violence and pressure from her in-laws to perform sati, a ritual that involves a widow immolating herself on her husband's funeral pyre. Her purported suicide note tells a tale of relentless harassment, pushing her to prove her quote-unquote good character via this dangerous and banned ritual. Despite the ban imposed on the sati practice by the British Governor General Lord William Benton Bentinick in 1829 uh, was fur and further reinforced by the Indian government's Commission on Sati Prevention Act of 1987, cases have been sporadically reported well into the 21st century. This heart-rendering incident underscores the urgency for more effective enforcement of laws and societal change to protect women's rights in India. So this is just obviously very upsetting because... I mean, sati is like a horrific practice, right? And it, there are still people that face pressure to self-immolate or to just self-delete when their husbands die, even to this day. I find that shocking. Is, is that her picture? Is that I her? Think, yeah. Okay, that's sad. Look at how look at that smile. Look how full of hope she, mm. she's, she seems how could you drive some oh my god how did she how did she how did she do it she jumped in there how did she you said you um, drowned herself yeah she drowned herself oh my god so i don't know what to say it's disgusting yeah and you said she was pressured into doing it yeah so you know, she, her husband apparently died, I think, last year or fairly recently in an accident. She's only like 28 years old, right? And then ever since then, her in-laws were oh, harassing her and actually abusing her to do this. Why? To, to, according to what I have read and according to some of the materials left behind or reports and messages she left her family, it was to prove her good character. Oh my God. I don't just like this. I want to vomit. This is so disgusting. I just think like, this is like a horror. Literally. Like, imagine two couples living and everything is fine. And then freak every all terms to shit. God damn this. I sometimes I don't know what to say. I have nothing to say. Just read some of the comments. I mean, yeah, it's it's barbaric. And Cosmic even saying, yeah, and Hindutva say Sati was introduced by the British. Oh, bull crap. This is pure Hinduism. This is absolutely Hinduism. Absolutely Hinduism. And somebody saying it, they blame it on the Muslims. Hindutva Morans blame it Sati on the Mughals. No, this is not Islam. This is not the British. This is Hinduism. Absolutely, it's within their scripture from ancient times. Mm -hmm. They're in in their most ancient scripture as well. Completely Hindu, pure Hinduism. Darko is asking, what is the rationale behind this tradition? Why would the in-laws want her to die? That's a good question, and I'm not gonna like pretend to know the like sociological origins of sati because I don't know that. So I'm not gonna like pretend like I do to tell you guys that. But I was thinking about this yesterday. And I was thinking, this is like pure speculation from a, what's the word I'm looking for? <sighs> Not sociological. Um, but basically, I was thinking like, in, in, in an old school society, like there, this is a disgusting way to say it, but I, like, there might be a social utility to a widow no longer being a burden in the family and a mouth that has to be fed, 
especially if she's been widowed and she can't marry again and can't produce more children like there might be a social utility to like getting rid of that because you think it's useless blah 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 now of course that's horrific and that doesn't mean that any of this is okay right i'm just trying to think about like from a macro social point of view like how in japan there used to be a tradition where if you have like an elderly family member that's like way too old like you will go leave them on a mountain to die because that person is a burden on your family like is it that same kind of mentality but then just over time it became a tradition in scripture I, that's pure speculation on my part let me know what you think let me know if i'm completely wrong um but that was kind of mentally the only way I can even make sense of how this started back in the day, you know, hundreds of years ago. Um, and it's just so upsetting, like, to, to be driven to this level because of just relentless harassment. Because, you know, of course, she was going to go live with her in-laws after she married her husband, because that's, you know, common in tradition. And then her husband died. She was still living with him. They, they relentlessly harassed her to the point that she had to go live with her own, go back to live with her own parents. And then eventually this is, I don't know, what she was driven to. Hmm. We're getting a lot of good information in the live set as well, which I've been highlighting from people from India. Mm -hmm. um, so oh, I have okay. highlighted those. Let oh, me only read, read one. Oh. Abby is saying, it is more of a matter of honor. A widow who dies for her husband is evident of her love originally. No one forced it. Some did it as a self-sacrifice and it became a cultish mentality. Mm. Well, that's one theory. Yeah. Um, Rebecca is saying, I miss your streams where you read the Hindu uh, Vedas. Uh, yeah, and other scripture, not just the Vedas. I would like to go back to doing that. However, my hands are full. So I'm going to use this opportunity by posting a link to our volunteer form so people could come if they wanted to join our Atheist Republic team. This way, I would be able to go back to reading the Vedas because some, some of the things that we're doing would be left off of our shoulders. So if you want to work with either me or Susanna, some of the tasks that you could join the volunteer will be require, like the video editing task. If you do, if you pick that one, you would be working with me. If it comes to um, bookkeeping or grant writing, that would be the tasks that you would be working with Susanna. But there's a whole list of things that you could pick from there and join our volunteer team. Also, and website development. The, website development, if you know Drupal. Um, so, yeah, you could join our team that way. And if, if enough things are moved out of my uh, to-do list, then I will go back to making videos. Um, in fact, you could join, as a video editor, you could join me in helping me create videos about Hindu scripture. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Brother likes to say, Rebecca said, I can join your Bible reading team. Yeah, you can. <laughs> if good. we had a Bible club, Rebecca, I don't know how much you would like it. <laughs> you would not like it. No, she likes it. She's like, Rebecca I'm kidding, is tough. I'm kidding. Yeah. By the way, guys, our, our the link to our volunteer form is under all our videos from now on. So you will be able to find them. On, let me see if i hope it's under this video let me check 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 yes it's the first link it's at the very top so top so it's under all our videos so you could always find them there great okay so next bad news Damn. oh i just want to highlight this oh. comment lucifer saying lucifer christ excuse me let me say his full name i find it shocking that hinduism can be violent most news only cover violence from islam and christianity thanks atheist republic for bringing this to light that's exactly what we're here for. This is exactly why we have this show. So thank you. Oh, yeah. I, uh, by the way, the Hindu scripture is the most violent scripture, right? However, in practice, they don't follow it as much. But if you were looking from a scripture point of view, the script, Hindu scripture is the most violent one. Like It excuses mass genocide right but anyways that's a that's how yeah it's wild right. yeah right some wild um, boys 
<laughs> right now we're looking for video editors. Video editors would be working with me. Graphic designers, I think graphic designers would be working with Susie. Um, uh, grant research and writing assistant, they would be working with Susie. Team coordinator or volunteer applicant ma application managers, they would be working with me. English to Persian translators, they would be working with me. Voiceover narrators would be working with me. High profile guest uh, finder and coordinator, that they would be working with me, that position. Live event speaking opportunity hunter, that would be working with Susanna. Uh, news cur curator and writer, that would be working with Susanna. Art team manager and payment coordinator, that's a position that would be working with Susanna. Financial coordinator and bookkeeper, that's a position that would be working with Susanna. Uh, social media manager, that's a position that would be working with me. A Drupal web developer, that's another position that would be working with Susanna. And lastly, live stream co-host in the background, most likely, unless somebody is really good. Uh, you know, that would be for maybe secular jihadist recording videos, or if they speak Persian for maybe for Persian, uh, the show that would be working with me again, the link to the application for volunteers is in the description and also in the live stream. Um, so if you want to join our team as a volunteer, please consider doing so.